Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. I'm Afshin Lorestani, certified PMP, an MBA strategy manager, and also a presenter for Cosmo Intel Science Fact Study Center. Today, I have a pleasure to present a study named Investigating the Behavior of Human Brain and Heart Rate Variability Parameters under the Influence of Fadar Money Tahiri Consciousness Field. First, I'm going to start with a brief introduction about Tahiri Consciousness Fields and Science Fact Methodology. And I will go over the case studies of influencing the TCFs on brain and heart functions. For each case study, total three, I will walk you through the methods, results, and conclusion. Muhammad Ali Tahiri introduced novel concept of consciousness, which Tahiri consciousness is one of the three existing elements of the universe apart from matter and energy. According to this theory, there are various Tahiri consciousness fields with different functions which are the subcategories of a network universal internet called the Cosmic Consciousness Network or CCN. The major difference between the theory of the TCFs and other theoretical concepts is the practical application of the TCFs. TCFs can be applied to all living and non-living creatures and their influence begins with the connection between CCN as the whole consciousness of the universe and the subject of the study as a part. This connection, called a tesal, is established by Father Mangar's mind, a certified and trained individual who has been entrusted the TCFs. These fields cannot be directly measured by science, but it is possible to investigate their effects on various subjects. Science fact, new science which utilizes scientific investigation to provide the existence of Tahari consciousness as an irrefutable phenomenon and fact by conducting reproducible laboratory experiments in various scientific fields. The assumption of the studies is the cosmos was formed by a third element called Tauri consciousness that is different from matter and energy and the argument is the existence of T consciousness fields can be demonstrated by its effects on matter and energy with a proof that the scientific verification of the effects of TCFs on matter and energy. In the first part of the study in order to complete and further develop the previous study of screening the electrical activity of the brain during Faradharmonic connection, the brain activity of a different Faradharmonic population was investigated by using task functional MRI to identify different activated and deactivated brain regions during the consciousness field connection. In the present study, we perform task fMRI group analysis and functional connectivity analysis of Farada Mangar population compromised of 20 healthy men and women in equal numbers with the age range between 20 to 50 years and compare the brain region activities during which a Farada Mangar connects to the CCN and rest and also to examine the changes in the brain activity in the shift from task to rest mode. Data were acquired while applying a 3 Tesla magnetic field. The study began with resting without connection to this FCF and with open eyes, and then individuals were asked to close their eyes and began this connection during their fMRI scan. The study findings led to symmetry activation and deactivation of the human brain regions during the FCF connection, which is also significantly different compared to rest. As you can see in this slot, the frontal parietal loops of two brain hemispheres show remarkably increased activity during the FCF connection, and the temporal and occipital loops of the left and right hemispheres show deactivation during the FCF connection. In the second part of this presentation, the Faradar Mangas brain EEG data was analyzed based on the functional effective connectivity and graph theory to demonstrate distinctive feature of the Faradar Mangas brain network during the FCF function. Faradar Mangas group was compromised of 33 women and 12 men and non Faradar Mangas group of 11 women and 4 men and the age range of both groups are between 20 to 50 years. As can be seen 
In the picture, there is a significant decrease in activities of delta, beta 2, and beta 3 waves in the experimental group test compared to the control group test. The connectivity differences in the delta, theta, beta 1, and gamma frequency bands between two groups of the study is not significant. The only case of increased connectivity is the alpha 1 frequency band, and the most decreased connectivity between different frontal brain regions can be seen in the case of the beta 3 frequency band. In this part of a study, the FCF function mind mediation in the connectivity study except an increase indicates multiple decreased functional connectivity between different regions of the frontal network. For the global network topology, results show a significant decrease in a characteristic path, length, and increase in global efficiency, clustering coefficient, and transitivity in experimental group compared with control. The last part of this presentation was designed to test the effectiveness of fire diamond connection on automatic nervous system functioning which heart rate variability HRV and a skin conductance SC in devices were measured as reliable indicators. All the recordings were conducted under the same environmental conditions from 50 healthy participants, 23 female, 27 males in the age range of 23 to 77 years. A four-channel biofeedback device was used for this study. The first five minutes considered as base situation were recorded without any intervention. In the second five minute Faradamonic connection treatment was administrated in a double blinded manner by a Faradamonger from long distance. It means that not only the participants and recording technician were not informed about the purpose of the research but also the Faradamonger did not know anyone. To obtain HRV parameters, the heart rate data derived from BVP signals. As shown, the changes of the frequency and time domain of HRV under the influence of fire dynamic connection are significant. The most significant changes are in the frequency domain parameters of HRV. Analysis of frequency domain parameters of HRV reveals a statistically significant changes in PNN50 between fire dynamic connection and baseline mode. A statistical analysis of frequency domain parameters of HRV represents significant changes in VLF, LF, HF, LF over HF ratio between fire dynamic and baseline mode. No significant differences were observed in SDNN pre and post fire dynamic connection. As a conclusion of this presentation, we can state that the results of fMRI tests are in alignment with the previous studies on the examination of fire diamond gas brain where the majority of the activity occurred in BA6 regions. Based on the second results, the activity in the gamma frequency band is increased as a result of connection with the FCF in humans regardless of being fire diamond or not. Also, the data shows a reduction of most frequency band activities and significant reduction of connectivity in the frontal loop. In Torres approach, the human brain is like a detector in relation to the FCF and as a result of this connection is to repair the system under treatment. It is hypothesized that the human brain in the role of the pharyngeal can be considered as a passive powerful detector or marker of the FCF function mediation rather than an operator or initiator. Finally, according to the results of the third part of the study, not only fire diamond connection, even from far distance, has its significant effects on automatic nervous system functioning, but also it exerts different variation on HRV parameters. At the end, I would like to give a special thanks to you for your attention and listening to my presentation. Cosmo Intel welcomes the collaboration of all attendants at the scientific and professional team based on expertise in various areas of science. Thanks. Goodbye.